grateful we are today to serve a God to whom we can release everything. Uh, we don't have to hold on to our anxieties, to our troubles, to our issues. We can release it and give it to him. And I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, when we give it to God, he knows what to do with it. Amen. Amen. And so we are blessed today to gather together in this house of worship. And we pray that God is blessing you even right now. Father, we thank you for this day of worship. We thank you, Lord, for this day of praise. As we come now, God, we ask that you will manifest your presence in this place as we now come together to worship you in spirit and in truth. This is our prayer. We pray in Jesus' name. Let us all say it together, amen. amen. Let us please stand for our responsive reading today. Our responsive reading is coming from Psalm 19, and we shall read this passage responsively as it is printed in your bulletin. Psalm 19, we're reading responsively. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. They have There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their light is gone out to all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them have he set the tabernacle for the sun. Which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heaven, and his serving unto the ends of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned. And in keeping of them, there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Mm. Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgressions let us read together let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight O lord my strength and my redeemer let us remain standing as we sing together our congregational hymn lift him up
presence of our Lord and let us lift him up. Even in this service today, let us lift up Jesus. Amen. Amen. Sister Connie David will now come with our announcement. Good morning, church. Good morning. The announcements are as follows. Please join Pastor Rainsbury on the Monday morning prayer line at 6.30 a.m. And then on Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m., please join us for prayer and meditation and then Bible study at 7. On next Sunday, Sunday, June, July 21st, during our worship service, we will recognize those who have received honors, promoted to the next grade level, high school graduate, a two-year or a four-year college degree. All of these will be recognized next Sunday on July, 20, July 21st. Please give the names of everyone to Deacon Dorothy Stan, Stansel by the end of the day, today. And parents, please bring your children out for, to receive these honors. We cannot do this without you parents, so please be obedient and bring your children out next Sunday, July 21st. On July the 27th at 1 p.m. will be the Women's Day Fashion Show. Please give your names of everyone participating to Sister Brenda Patterson. And also for Women's Day, there will be a corsage for $2. Please see Sister Anna Pressy for that corsage. The Association of Liberian, Liberian Christian Ministries will be presenting on Sunday, July 21st at 4 p.m. This is to, it's a Thanksgiving and intercessory service. And the theme will be Hope for Tomorrow. Their guest speaker will be our own Reverend Thomas Rainsbury. Again, that Sunday, July 21st at 4 p.m., it's a Liberian 177th Independence Thanksgiving and Intercessory Service. It will be held at the Lamb of God Lutheran Church at 7415 Buchanan Street in Landover, Maryland. The flyer is posted on the bulletin board. If you need any more information, please see me for next Sunday, July 21st at 4 p.m., our own Reverend Thomas Rainsbury will be the guest speaker. Thank you. To all our friends and family who are worshiping with us by way of Facebook and uh, live stream, we say good morning to you. We pray that you are doing well. And for those who are worshiping with us by way of conference call, we say good morning to you. God bless you, and we pray and hope that this service will be a blessing to your life. And to all of you who are here this morning, it is so good to see all of you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Amen. God is good, and the Lord is blessing us right now, and for that, we are so grateful. Mark your calendars. Mark your calendars for September the 7th. September the 7th, that's that first, I believe, is the first Saturday in the month of September, September the 7th at 2 p.m. That would be a musical here at our church sponsored by the uh, seniors ministry of our church. There will be groups coming and singing, including the choirs. <laughs> of the West Hyattsville Baptist Church. Amen. Don't they look lovely? Don't they look lovely? Amen. Yeah, y'all be on that too. <laughs> Amen. So looking forward to that. If you have any questions, please see uh, Reverend Lynette Wright. But let's come together and have a good time on that Saturday. Again, September the 7th, beginning at 2 p.m. Uh, we won't be here all day because we have to come back the next day. Amen. <laughs> Uh, but we look forward to having a wonderful time there uh, here uh, in singing and praising of God. Again, we thank God for your presence here today and your participation here today. Get in the service, my brothers and sisters. Guess what, y'all? The Lord is here. 
And if the Lord is in the house, let's worship him and let's praise him on today. Amen. Amen. There's one person who uh, I did not have an opportunity uh, to give a gift to in the uh, appreciation of our teachers, children's, ch uh, children's church teachers, and that's because she was um, away, but she is here today, and I am going to give her a gift that is a sign of our appreciation for the work that she has done and continues to do. In our church, I speak of none other than our own Deacon Stephen Nett Say. Come on, Stephen Nett. Man, she's looking to rise at who I'm talking about. <laughs> we thank you for the work you do with our young people, uh, not only in children's church, but in our church. You do tremendous work. We appreciate your faithfulness. And as I've said to the other teachers who came, uh, we thank God for you and thank God for the work you have done and continue to do and will do. Amen. Here Amen. at our church. Amen. 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 Even taking pictures. Amen. 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 Only the gift first. Amen. 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 wonderful choir is going to come and bless us today with music. Amen. Amen. 